All right, it's been a while since we posted a video, and here we are. What is it? <laughs> it is our washing machine. Well, it is not ready to go yet, but it is almost there. This is the washing machine. We use the same bike that we use for the wheat grinder, so we can. That's what the other belt is there, so we can use this exercise bike, simple old exercise bike, for a couple purposes. It's a. It's for the wheat grinder which is over there or it is for this contraption I welded up today so we got a very simple frame with a pulley and then our little locomotive extension here uh, don't paint the green thing is just being silly but here's our 70 gallon rubber made container hoping to do four loads of laundry at a time and you can see the mechanism here the simple slider crank back to the bike and uh, that's it so this is the agitator keep going Sarah you see the agitator pedal a little faster oh no don't go crazy All right, and we don't have things anchored down yet here so but just getting the distances and everything but we hope to be able to wash four loads at a time in the pedal power washing machine all right it's a rainy day here in South Carolina, so it was a good, I had all the parts kicking around, so rainy day project. We'll show you next time, hopefully washing a load of clothes, and then we're going to work on the rinsing, and we have the old style ringer. We'll taking an old style ringer and mounting it to another uh, handle. We might automate that too, we'll see. All right. So I guess that's it. I know that's very dirty in the bottom, but uh, we're gonna, we've got three of these Rubbermaid containers we're gonna use for our laundry. And we have a 200 foot clothesline all set to go. So, pretty, pretty easy, huh, Sarah? Yep. <laughs> all right, signing off. What do you think, Baxter? Hey, Baxter, say goodbye. <laughs>